Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, Earth's atmosphere, a paper for the biggest solar geeks around, and more. We begin over at spaceweathernews.com and... Hello, big circle cutting across the frame. Folks, it was the new moon and the satellite got eclipsed by our celestial neighbor, as often happens during new moons. The coronal hole, big dark patches, one departing and the southern opening is coming in to face us today. We'll be looking at the southwest Pacific for energy signatures. But beyond the large dark patches, I'm focused on the thinner dark ropes, the plasma filaments. There are two sharing one heliospheric longitude segment, one's got the south, the others got the north. They both are sizable and getting old in their lives. These filaments present a primary eruption watch over the next three days. And that's really all we're looking for right now as the sunspots are small and we've got absolutely no solar flaring and no geomagnetic storms either, which is good because one, a plasma penetration event occurred last night over Europe, luckily it was short-lived, and two, because we had another data cutout on Discover. Folks, these are what experts think are failures due to cosmic ray bombardment of the satellite, which really shouldn't be happening for a space weather satellite unless there are way more cosmic rays than expected. Quick notes, new paper out for those into the real nitty-gritty of heliophysics, the long period oscillation pulsations in the pre-solar flare stage. Top weather of the last day, was likely the storm that swept through southern Australia. Thousands were without power at one point, and winds topped 100 kilometers per hour. Quickly, let's go through atmospheric quality conditions, starting with your carbon dioxide. We're going to move on to sulfur dioxide, and keeping with sulfur, we're going to go next, adding a couple oxygens to the molecules to come to the sulfates. Last but not least, we will go to the sand and dust extinction. Happy Halloween, folks, and as the last day in October, this is indeed the last day to take advantage of our birthday gift. On suspiciousobservers.org, click the Observing the Frontier button to check out the conference page, the schedule, the speakers, their talks, and a couple preview videos as well. If you haven't seen those, they tend to reach up inside your brain and don't let go very easily. So, what is the gift? Well, anyone who signs up for the conference in October gets 60 free days on the website if they're not already a member, and they are entered to win the very first copy off the line of The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Our new book will be ready in just a couple weeks. Last day for that gift opportunity, but of course over at suspiciousobservers.org, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.